Good morning. As we begin today's message of how we are linked by love, let's be reminded by the scriptures we've heard earlier and how they deepen our love for God. Let's open our hearts to God's word. Picture this. A father with two sons, the younger one demands his inheritance early, blows it all on wild living, and ends up in a terrible place. But then, in a moment of realization, he decides to come back home, not expecting to be welcomed as a son, but hoping to be accepted as a servant. This story shows us just how deep God's love and forgiveness run. No matter how far we stray, God is always waiting for us with open arms, ready to welcome us back with joy. The Father in this story represents God, who loves us unconditionally and forgives us without holding grudges. But there is more. The older son gets jealous and self-righteous, reminding us of our own tendencies to resent others who receive God's grace. We need to remember that we've all been blessed by God, and we should celebrate with others, turn back to him just as he does. In another story, Jesus visits Martha and Mary. Martha is busy with all the preparations while Mary sits at Jesus' feet, soaking in his teachings. Martha Martha gets frustrated and asks Jesus to tell Mary to help her. Jesus gently reminds Martha and us that the most important thing to being close to him Mary chose the better option by focusing on Jesus and his words. This teaches us to prioritize our relationship with God over all the busy stuff in our lives. So how do these stories relate to us today? First, they urge us to check on our hearts and our relationships. Are we holding on to grudges? Are we putting God first in our lives, seeking his presence daily? Second, they change us to extend the same grace and the forgiveness to others that God gives us. Let's be agents of reconciliation and healing in our families and communities. Finally, they remind us the privilege we have to know and serve God who loves us with uncondition, unconditionally. Let's respond with gratitude and desire to live for his glory. As we think about these stories, let's be encouraged to deepen our relationship with God and show his love and grace towards others. Let's embrace the forgiveness and reconciliation offered through Jesus and make his presence our top priority. May the Holy Spirit help us live as God's children, forgive, forgiven, and redeemed. And may we extend his love to a world that really needs it. Amen.